it didn't say goblins on the door. I mean, look at this welcome, place. Welcome, ladies. Welcome. It's stunning, and I love the orchid. Well, not as much as I love that outfit. You guys have done an amazing job. Champagne? Please. Mm. Cheers. To the next chapter and a future filled with possibilities. Mm. Here, here. Mm. Ah. Well, enjoy the party, ladies, and uh, don't do anyone I wouldn't do. <laughs> right. <gasps> don't you just love this? Oh, I mean, last year we were sitting here at this exact table talking about the sex book. I mean, who would have thought things would be so different? And I have to say, I have never seen so many gorgeous men in one place. Ooh, Erica, incoming. Incoming. Hi. Wow. Wow. Gay. No. Oh, uh, yeah. As gay as Adam Lambert at a Miley Cyrus mall tour. Oh, no fear. Well, they can't all be gay. Okay, how about that guy over there with the dreads? Okay, next that. He's wearing orange skinny pants. <laughs> Panning and scanning. Panning. Oh my god, is that who? Oh god. Oh, chicken. You thought that was Ethan? Uh, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, totally, I'm fine. Who's Ethan? Ethan's her ex. Oh. Oh, you poor thing. I know exactly what you need. Come. A set up? No, no. Yep. That wound is still raw. So what Erica needs is my top secret, super duper, heart mending elixir. I call it a lovely tenor. Wow. Oh. Really, Ive? Yes, David. And need I remind you why I was driven to concoct this drink in the first place? Ivan and I broke up once. Oh. It was the worst week of my life. I lost my true love. The light in my heart, my best friend. Oh, I'm sorry, Erica. I didn't. Oh no! Don't, don't even worry about it. Hey, are those oysters in a half shell over there? Ooh. Yes, with mignonette, lemon zest, and little pink forks. Yum, yum. Ooh, delish! Lead the way. They say losing a lover is hard. Losing a friend is harder, and losing both is the hardest of all. What do you do when a piece of your life is suddenly missing? We know we're supposed to move on, but how? when there's a hole in your life that nothing can fill. First time here? Uh, no, actually, I'm a member. It's just been a while. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm Chris. Hey, Chris, I'm Erica. So, kept you away so long, Erica. Oh, you know, work stuff and just life. Well, which is it? Work or life? Mmm. Delicious. Erica. You made it. I got your text. I can't believe they offer free babysitting here. Well, we are a full-service gym. 
Well, thank you, Chris, for the very tasty drink. It is time for us to work out. No, uh, well, I was gonna get a water. You can have my bottle. This guy is cute. Why are we running away? Dude, what? I'm not saying marry him, but he is hot and clearly into you, so maybe you should, uh... What? Hook up? No, that's a bad idea, right? I just hate seeing you so sad. I am not so sad. Yes, you are. You know what, Jude? People break up every day. And it's hard. Yeah, it's hard, and I've been sad for three weeks, and it, you know what? Enough. You know, I'm starting to annoy myself. Get over it. Stop moping and thinking about it calling him and then hanging up. You did it. It was a moment of weakness, all right? Anyway, I've just decided that I need to be more proactive here. OK. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you're doing this over the phone. What do, you, what do you mean you can't handle it, Norm? I'm not asking you to handle anything. Well. The next time you go on Mava Life, you be sure to ask for a CAT scan and an MRI. OK, I want an honest opinion on this suit, and I just switched shoes five times. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Here, let me see. OK, hang on. I keep running scenarios. Hmm. What if they ask me why I left Mount Sinai? Say so you got a job offer in London. What if they ask why I left London? Why'd you say you missed your mother? <laughs> Let me see. Ah, you look beautiful. I don't want to have to tell them about the divorce. It's uncomfortable and I feel pathetic. Do you think I can say I left London for personal reasons and just leave it at that? Samantha, you have wonderful references. You're charming, you're accomplished. They'd be lucky to have you, okay? Okay. Call me after. Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. I'm good. How are you? I didn't know you worked out here. Yeah, it's been a while. How's everybody? Uh, parents? Work? Good, really good. You know, parents are the same. Um, work is a bit different. I've actually started my own publishing company with Julianne, my ex-boss. Well, look at you moving on up in the world. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. Our, our office is basically the back room of this cafe. It's called Goblins. I know Goblins. Good coffee. The best. So, um, what does Ethan think about all this? He must be pretty excited for you. Actually, um, Ethan and I, we, we broke up. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get back to it. Okay. It's just legs day. I hate legs day. <laughs> hey, it was good to see you, Erica. Yeah, good to see you too. Today. Sorry, lame joke. <laughs> I was uh, looking for room T327. Now there's paint all over me and the map. Your shoe. Oh no. Oh no, 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 Hold no. Hold no, on. No, no. Hold on. I got it. Okay, thanks. Okay, please come on. Here, let me. It's not a problem. I've cleaned up way worse today, trust me. Flip it off. Come on. Okay. You know what? 
It looks like I'm gonna have to call this one. Time of death, 10.57. I cannot go to an interview with one blue shoe. Why not? It makes a statement. Yeah, it says I'm a flake. No, nope, they say that you're an eccentric nonconformist. <laughs> Which I'm sure is totally what they're looking for in a surgeon. <laughs> you're a surgeon? Why, is that bad? Uh, no, no. It's just uh, you don't really seem like a surgeon. And what are surgeons like? You know, guy complex, jocks, always really busy. Anyway, uh, room T327 is straight down there to the left and around the stairs. Thank you. Good luck, doctor. Samantha. It's just Samantha. Good news, you've been approved for your line of credit. Yay! Isabel, thank you so much for expediting this. We we really appreciate it. Not a problem. If you both sign the documents and bring them into your branch today, we'll get you set up. Perfecto. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> Healthy line oh. of credit. Now we can talk office furniture mm -hmm. and supplies. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to give you those documents that... Isabel was talking about. Right, and you've signed already, right? Yep. Do you need a pen? No, nope. I got one. Chicken. Space case. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You know you're the worst liar ever. Ethan, he, um, he gave that to me the night of the launch. You're the one. God, what is wrong with me? I mean, every time that I think that I'm getting over him, something happens that reminds me of him, and I just, I feel like I am starting back at square one. Well, maybe the universe is trying to tell you something. Like what? Well, think about it. You're miserable, so clearly, whatever you're doing to move on, it's not working. Well, okay, so what are you saying, that I should... Get back together with Ethan? No, I'm saying that you should knock back a love me tender or two and expand your horizons. <laughs> oh my god, what is he doing here? Who? Ryan. Who's Ryan? It's right there. Oh. Hey! Hey! <clears throat> wow! Twice in one day. Hey. I came to apologize. Oh, you know what, Ryan? You don't have to. Yeah, I do. I mean, legs day. Really, who says that? Yeah. So, <laughs> these are the new digs, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's great, right? The, the new offices, they're right back there, behind the wall. Publish your next Pulitzer, grab a coffee, that's cool. Psh, right? What's the first title about? Oh, you know, it's this incredible memoir about growing up in a cult and how he escapes as an adult. Oh, okay, so we get an insider view into his world and then his outsider view on ours. Exactly, and I mean, everything is new, right? How money works, how to, how to find a job, how to pay your rent. Here's a thought. Uh, why, don't, um, why don't we grab dinner or something? You know, just catch up. Yeah. Great. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, so how about Versailles, 7.30? Perfect, that sounds great. I'll see you there. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> okay, I'm... I'm confused. Why is that? Well, I... I mean, having dinner with Ryan, it's, as a friend, I mean, that hardly merits a session. Playing with fire. Always with the drama, Rebecca. Sorry, I don't believe you can be friends with an ex. They're having dinner, not sleeping together. Exactly. Now that I would understand. You still find him hot, don't you? Don't lie, you want to jump his bones. I personally, me, Erica, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you. Well, no comment. Everyone participates, you know that.
Yes, but I don't think I can be helpful here, Dr. Tom. Huh? Why is that? Because... Why does this even require a session? I mean, people break up, you move on, get back in the saddle. Actually, it's not that easy. Why not? Like Rebecca said, just jump the guy's bones and get it out of your system. Please don't paraphrase me, Adam. What you said made sense. Look, no offense to anyone, but I don't think that you get it. Well, I get it, Erica. The last time I broke up with someone, I cried for a month. A one-night stand's not gonna solve anything. No, it's, it's more than that, okay? I mean, it's bigger than that. It's... Ethan, he was my best friend. And my boyfriend. He was... He was the person that I would talk to, the person that understood me the best, and... He broke your heart? No. No, I broke my own heart. And his, so... Oh. I just have to live with that. I think, I really think that Adam is right here. Yes, there is a time for introspection, absolutely, but, but this isn't it. I just need to focus on moving forward. Well, perhaps I've called everyone in prematurely. Really? Yeah, yeah sure, go ahead. Okay. You were just... I just saw you go into the washroom. Are you feeling okay? What? Yeah. I'm gonna have the salmon. You don't eat salmon. I don't eat farm salmon. This is wild salmon, so I'm okay. Ordering dinner with Ryan. Always an adventure. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Oh, really? Any questions about the menu? Actually, yes. It, it says here that the salmon, it comes with a honey glaze. Now, would that be more of a, of a buckwheat honey or a clover honey? Is there a difference? Well, the buckwheat has more of an intense, full-bodied flavor, whereas the clover is lighter. I did not know that. Most people don't. I'll find out. OK, thank you. So you're going to be pleased with that, uh, Go with me. For some reason, we gave magenta, but... Uh... It's really nice to see you, Ryan. We should do this again. Yeah. Oh, but it's going to have to wait, because I'm heading off to Bogota in a couple days. Wow, is that work or pleasure? Work. No time for vacations these days. Plus, you know, when you're single, it's just not as appealing. Hmm. What about you? You got any any big trips planned? Nope, nothing. Just work and more work. Just like you. You enjoy being single? It's got a certain freedom to it. Uh, yeah. But I wouldn't say that enjoying it is the right word. You mind if I ask what happened there? I don't know. It just... It just didn't work out. Now, is Ethan back in Montreal? He's actually crashing on a friend's couch. Couch? How long has it been? A few weeks. Oh. Sorry. Thanks. Yeah, it was rough, but I'm moving on. Well, it's good that you can. So soon. Ryan, it was, it was really good to see you. Yeah, let me hail you a cab. Hey, look, can I, can I ask, did, did I do something wrong? No. Really? You didn't do anything. I just think this was a mistake for both of us. OK, look, I don't read minds. What's, what's going on? You just broke up with Ethan. And now you're here with me. Yeah, we're, you know, we're having dinner as friends. I'm not your friend. I'm a distraction. Oh, my God, Ryan, you're not. I just, I wanted to catch up. You wanted to feel wanted. Ryan, I'm... I'm a little lost right now. And uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. It was really good to see you. I just, I don't think that you're ready for this. And neither am I. Thank you, but no, go ahead and take it. I'm 
I'm gonna walk. Good night. to see Ethan? Yeah, is is he here? Erica, come on. Ethan doesn't want to see you. You know that. I know that he's upset and he needs his space, but I just, I really need to talk to him. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Ethan, he has been my best friend for over a decade, and this, this silence that is between us, it's not working. Yeah, for you. Well, guess what, Erica? It's not about you, all right? It's about him, because right now, he's in hell, and you put him there. <sighs> Michael, I didn't... Just... I'm... Leave him alone. All right, that's what he needs. Wow, 11 p.m. workout, that's dedicated. Is it too late for juice? I can open back up for you. You couldn't sleep, huh? How did you know? Well, when you work here long enough, you tend to figure these things out. Yeah, it's just, it's like my brain won't stop, you know? It's same thoughts over and over and... Yeah, I've been there. Hmm. Do you have a juice for that? Something like, what? What is it, uh, ginkgo biloba? Ginkgo's from memory. Oh, right. And what it sounds like you really need is to get out of your brain and into your body. Hmm. Well, then I guess I came to the right place. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you did. Sorry, just, just hang on a second. Um, what? I, sorry, I just, I think that I should probably go. You sure? <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Have a good night. Mm, yeah. I didn't think that it could get more awkward than that, but apparently it can. <laughs> What's going on, Erica? I don't know. I don't I don't even recognize myself. Because of what just happened with the juice guy? No, because of everything, you know? I just I just feel like I'm spinning out of control and I'm trying everything I can think of. You went to see Ethan. Yeah. Which was stupid. So? Why'd you do it? I don't even know. I just thought that if I could somehow get closure, then maybe I could move on. And what kind of closure were you looking for? I just feel like I'm running around in circles and... Oh, I don't know why it's not getting better, you know? It's like the more I fight it, the worse it gets. What if I made a mistake? Do you think that you did? I was so sure that breaking up with Ethan, it was the right thing to do, but now... Oh, you guys, I know that I sound crazy, even to myself. But, but and you're all, you're trying to give me advice, but it's like no one actually understands me. Well, I can think of one person who might. Oh yeah, who? No, wait, where am I going? <laughs> hey, no more cosmos for Erica. There's no glass.
glass and the food. Don't worry, I will. I will double check. Wow, is it just me or did it get 30 degrees cooler in here? Okay, she's being a bitch, no <laughs> doubt, but but I kind of get it. What? Well, Why? Erica, come on. You know you suck at hiding how you feel. And look, I'm sure that Claire doesn't want to be at this party any more than you wanted to throw it, right? Don't be mad. <laughs> no, I'm not mad at all. I really miss you, Jenny. I do. I miss you. Okay. I miss you so much. Okay, you see me every day. Those off. Ladies, there have been some complaints. Volume down, please. Okay. Must be to you outside. Mm -hmm. I'm just turn it down. Claire? Really? Really. But this isn't funny. It's not meant to be. You just said no one understood you. Oh, and you think that Claire will? Well, you both loved Ethan. And you both realized that it wasn't enough. Do I really have to explain to you that they haven't even broken up yet, okay? Not to mention the fact that Claire, she hates my guts. And I'm sorry, but my relationship with Ethan, it ended under very different circumstances, okay? Because I, I didn't cheat on him. So this isn't the same at all. No. No, so what, what is the point of this? Learning is finding out what you already know, Richard Bach. Enjoy the party, ma'am. guys doing? Kendra rented a pole. She's gonna teach us, remember? Oh, right, right. Yeah, girl. Wow. Ladies. Go, girl. The pole. This is all the rage in Montreal. But you know, if you don't want to take part, you can just send what? No, I, uh, I actually danced in a bar for two years. Sounds like we just found our first volunteer. Uh -oh. Come on up. No, I don't think I should have yet. It's been a while, so you may have to bear with me. said it, you don't have to say it back. You know, Claire, I know, I know that we didn't get off to the best start tonight, but I, I just want us to have a good time. So let's just put any bad feelings we have behind us and, and try to really enjoy ourselves, okay? Erica, do you really think that throwing me a party to make Ethan happy is gonna magically erase all the years of tension we have between us? Come on, girl! You know, if you wanna have a good time tonight, try not to be fake for once. Okay, it's time for a game. Let's play I Never. <laughs> I never should have offered to host this party. <sighs> Honesty. That's the idea. <laughs> I have never had sex out in the open. Oh, Mount Pleasant Cemetery. Oh, <laughs> An owl shed. Why? Okay, I got one. I get one. <laughs> I have never had a crush on Ethan Wakefield. Oh. <laughs> I'm marrying him. <sighs> Anyone else? <clears throat> Come on, girls, fess up. He's hot. 
TS. <laughs> Do you still? No. I did once. But not anymore. Whoa! This night just got really interesting. <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah! Come on! Like share. Oh god, I have no idea. <laughs> oh yes. Oh. <gasps> Come lay down. Oh, my oh. <sighs> Miss Claire Wakefield. Are you excited for the wedding? Honestly, not as excited as I'd like to be. Uh, it's just nerves. Marrying Ethan is the right thing to do. You know, we've broken up at like three times. It never sticks. But I love him and I want to make it work, you know? Are you afraid that it will? You know, I'm adventurous when it comes to everything. Food, travel, sex. Mm. Ethan's more like the, the meat and potatoes kind of guy. Mm-hmm. Opposites attract, but... They can also divide. But then whenever we break up, I just couldn't handle it. 
And it's like people break up all the time, but when it happens to you, oh my God, it's agony. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like, if this relationship isn't right for me, then why is breaking up so painful? And here you are. Here I am. And I think I figured it out. Relationships are hard, and they need work. Thank you for doing this to me. I had a really good time. <sighs> You're welcome. person out of fear. And what is it that you think Claire was afraid of? Pain. How much it hurt to be without him. I mean, breaking up with someone that you love, even if it is for the right reasons, is so incredibly hard. You know, it's painful enough to make me reconsider my decision, which is crazy because I know that we're not right together. Now, you see, Claire thought that by marrying Ethan, she could avoid the pain. Of course, all she ended up doing was delaying it. I mean, she suffered through years of marriage and a difficult divorce rather than do the one thing that she should have done. The one thing that you have to do. Which is? Nothing. <laughs> what? Oh, come on! I'm I'm running around like a crazy woman. I mean, I'm crank calling Ethan. I'm seducing juice guys, and all I had to do was nothing. I mean, come on, that sounds a little bit easy. No, Erica, it's not easy at all. No, you hurt. And you hurt, and you live with it, and you sit in it, and you suffer until it stops, until time takes it away. Good night. Good night. Mom? Guess who just called? No. Did they? I got the job. Oh, sweetheart, that's fantastic. <laughs> Mom. Mom. Ow, you're squeezing me. What's wrong? Nothing, honey. Mom, what is it? I... It's just... Oh. Norm and I broke up. <laughs> what? Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. I thought things were going so well. Yeah, so did I. I'll be okay. Go to the hospital and don't worry about me. I am worried about you, Mom. No, we'll talk about it later, okay? Really, I'm fine. Really? Really. Doc. Samantha. <laughs> Are you lost again? No. I just wanted to come and say thank you for being so helpful yeah. yesterday. Yeah, any, anytime, anytime. Well, good. Because um, I'm horrible with directions and I've mastered this hallway, but it's a big hospital. Uh, wait, does that mean you got the job? I did. Congratulations. Thank you. So I guess that means I'll be seeing a lot more of you. 
Yeah, you will. I didn't get your name. Lennon. Communist parents. Hey, at least it wasn't Stalin. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know, if this surgeon thing doesn't work out, stand-up comedian. Right. Okay. Well, until next time, I guess. See you later. Sometimes the only way to move forward is to stop moving, to stand still, and to decide that no matter what happens, no matter how much it hurts, you're exactly where you want to be.